It's a relationship forged by violence and loss in places that should be safe. Alex Dimitrik reports on the link between two high schools attacked by two separate shooters. Last March, a student at Great Mills High in St. Mary's County opened fire on classmates. I have one CPR in progress, one with a gunshot wound to the head, one with a gunshot wound to the leg. 17 year old Austin Rollins killed himself, but not before fatally shooting 16 year old Jalen Willie and wounding another student. It happened just five weeks after 17 people were shot to death at Stoneman Douglas High in Parkland, Florida. While still coping with their own loss, students at Parkland contacted students at Great Mills. When when that happened, they were reaching out to us and sending their condolences. Um, so having this whole other community that went through like the same thing and is, you know, not afraid to talk about it, who is very open and willing to get their support wholeheartedly is really nice. Students made their own memorial out of painted stones, but Jackson O'Mara and Molly Davis want to say thank you to Parkland students in person. Other kids who have been through school shootings are like truly like, the only people, the only people who like truly understand like the pain that like c comes from that. It's going to be I think a really like healing process and feel really good for everyone. The support by the Parkland students is being matched by the Great Mills community. Which has been contributing money for the Florida trip. Only a few hundred dollars was expected. It's closing in on 2,000. Everybody wants to help and I, I could just cry talking about it. It's it's incredible. The generosity we we've received is incredible. Alex Dimitri, WJZ. So far, enough money has been raised to send four students to Parkland. Backers hope more students will be able to make the trip.